that time of year again. The bush pickles are producing like crazy, so we've got all these nice fresh cucumbers from the garden, and we're gonna make some bread and butter pickles. All the ingredients will be on the blog, but a brief overview. Very fresh bush pickle cucumbers, three onions, spices, quart of distilled vinegar, five tablespoons of kosher salt, three cups of organic cane sugar. The magic to this is in the process, so pay attention, here we go. To a very large pot, we're going to add our sugar, our vinegar, and our spices. Then we're going to slice our cucumbers and onions and salt and ice them for four hours. We'll get these things in the pot. Vinegar, sugar. I'm gonna crush these cayenne peppers, but we can put the celery seed, clove, cardamom, coriander, mustard seed, and turmeric in. <coughs> Remove the stems from our cayenne peppers. When I have these fresh in the garden, as I will later in the season, I prefer to use them that way. But honestly, these will reconstitute and be almost indistinguishable from fresh chili in the funnel pickle. I'm not too concerned about whether the seeds stay in or come out. basically just kind of slice these up and try to leave most of the seed on the board and get these into our brine to start reconstituting. So just kind of pushing them off to the side like that. We can omit all of that seed and just use the flesh of the pepper, like so. Now for the onions. Ends are off, peeled, we'll cut in half. Then we're gonna lay it on a nice flat surface. Of course, you're gonna tuck your fingernails back and hold the onion like so. And what I wanna do is make radial cuts to julienne this onion. Get fairly nice thin slices, about like so. We'll do that with all three onions. On to the cucumbers. I have the mandolin set up with a wave blade at about a quarter inch thickness. And we need one gallon of cucumbers for this recipe. And so I'm going to slice them until we can fill this jug. So I'm going to take the flour end off and then very carefully use the guard. If you're not familiar with these tools, they can be kind of dangerous. Myself, I just like to use this rail edge to keep my thumb from coming in contact with the blade. So that goes to compost. One pickle done. Right. Our pickles are sliced. We'll go into the bowl. Add the onions. tablespoons of non-iodized kosher salt. Now we'll put two trays of ice in there, toss it, cover it, and let it sit for four hours. And this really helps uh, get a good crisp pickle. The 
key factors are having very fresh produce, using the ice and this uh, sort of a curing stage to draw some of the moisture out of the cucumbers. And then before we can them, we will rinse them off and boil them in our brine, which is going to basically be steeping from now until four hours later when we put all this together and process it. It's been four hours that our cucumbers have been soaking with salt and ice. You can see the liquid that's formed there. That's what's pulled out. What we're going to do is rinse these with cold water. We're going to make sure that all the ice is melted. We're just going to give them a little toss. So, all right, there we go. We've got the brine on the stove, nice and hot. We'll throw these in there when it all comes to a boil. Pack them in those jars over there. The turmeric in this brine is what gives these bread and butter pickles their signature yellow color. So basically, Crank this on high till it boils, then we'll hot pack our jars. All right, we're starting to come to a boil there. Give it just a little bit more, and then we'll be ready to pack. Okay, we're ready to make our move. We've got our bread and butter pickles. We have our jars, our jar lids, which have been covered in boiling water to soften the seals. We have our rings sterilized jars, filling funnel, tongs, boiling canner. Pickles. Up here a mile high, I ran them for 20. If you're down at sea level, about 10. Halfway in between, about 15 minutes. You'll want to wait about a week before you dig into these. Let those flavors really meld together and all the seed spices soften up. Yeah. Let them cool there. Label them. Put them in the pantry. Mm -hmm. 